Hey everyone, welcome back to another installation video and in today's video we have this Toyota Tundra and we're going to install the tent tail lights. So as you can see this is the regular default look of the Toyota Tundra tail light and this is how it looks with tents installed. So now let's get started with the installation video. So like any other installation video we want to make sure we clean around the surface we're going to work with. So for the installation, we recommend starting on the front side first. And then once we finish installing this one, we work away in installing the one in the back. So with this front piece, we want to make sure we align it on the top here where you can feel the indent. And then also on, on the sides here where you can feel the tail lights about a curve in. So apply your slip solution. So it's important to align this one right on the edge on the top as well as the edge on this side. So it covers the whole tail light. So this is what I mean when you're aligning it, it as to match right on the top before it goes to the curve on top. So align the film right on the edge and then as well as here. So you're gonna feel a small indent. So you have to match the tint right before it starts touching the other side of the tail light. Okay, and once you have it aligned, the next thing is tagging it down. So you wanna put your tag solution and then just tag down this piece here, just this part here, cause this we're gonna leave it as is. Cause afterwards we're gonna have to stretch this part upward. So we just wanna tag this part first. That way we stretch down. And then we come back here and stretch up. So once this piece is secured, the next thing is stretching the film downward. And while we're stretching down, we have to align it on the edge like I mentioned up here. Apply your slip solution. As you're about to stretch, make sure it's aligned on the edge. Apply a tag solution and just tack it down. So once you tack down this middle part, the last thing is tacking down this bottom part. So we want to make sure we align it right on the edge on the bottom here. And then as well as the edge here. Let's apply tack solution. So just remove all of the moisture that's on the back of the film. And then with heat, we're just going to seal it off on the edges here and on the bottom here. And now let's move on to the top part. In the meantime, this dries. So in order to remove this finger that you see here in this film, we're gonna have to lift the film up just a bit again here. Apply slip solution. And then once we apply it, we stretch the film upward. That way the tint aligns to the top as well as removes the finger right here. So just apply your slip solution. If possible, just dry the area you're gonna stretch. That way you have better grip when stretching. Stretch upward. And then when you stretch it, make sure you're aligning that as well on the top. And now you see most of the finger removed. Okay. And now we have it, we stretched it and we have it aligned. And now the next thing is just tacking it down. So apply tack solution. And then just tack down the rest. And when you're squeegeeing this part here, try to go at an angle. That way you don't accidentally crease the film. So as you can see, nothing's coming off. And now it should sit flush here. So as you can see, all the fingers got removed. And the last thing is just sealing it with heat here and then the bottom part. Okay, and then the last thing is just tack solution here and then squeegee at an angle to tack down. As you can see now, everything's flush here. It should be tacked down here too. Okay, so once we finish tacking down everything, the last thing is just heating the edges. That way it doesn't lift over time. And also the reason we want to heat around the edges and seal it is because when we install this side, this piece right here, it's going to overlap on this edge here. So we want to make sure everything is tacked down and it's not lifting because if it lifts over time, your tent will probably start peeling off on the edges here. So just seal it with heat. And now we can move on with the next part here. So same steps we did on the front. We're gonna apply slip solution here. That way we would align the film. And with this one, we want to align it right on the edge here. So you're gonna feel there's a curve here on the tail light. So we wanna align the film right exactly on the edge there. That way the film tacks down perfectly on this end and it overlaps. So let's get started. And once you apply your slip solution, align the film right on the edge here and you're just gonna place it down. And then you are gonna notice that you're gonna have film here. This excess film, you're gonna have to tuck in inside of the of this part of the tail light. As you're lining, make sure you're tucking in as well. That way you won't have 
problems afterwards when you're trying to squeegee everything inside. So just apply your slip solution and then tuck it inside. Once you have most of the film tucked in inside, then you can go ahead and start aligning it right here. So it should cover everything right there. Okay, and once you have it there, the next thing is tacking down. So just lift the film up and we're gonna tack down this part first. That way we're able to stretch the film. And then squeegee it in place. So like I said, the material is gonna go tucked in inside. So just start tucking this part in. And this should be aligned right here in the top as well. So that should be good. It's not gonna move. And the next thing is stretching. So we're gonna stretch the film going that way. And then once we have it in place here, the next thing is working our way down. So you just wanna stretch the film. And while you're stretching, it has to be aligned. And as I mentioned, when you stretch, the film is gonna overlap to the front end, but just by a bit. Another thing you can use to help you stretch the film more better is you can use warm soapy water. So warm soapy water helps the film stretch more better. So if you're having a hard time stretching the film, apply warm soapy water. That way the film stretches more. So just dry up this spot that you're gonna stretch and then start stretching. Once you stretch it and have it aligned, the next thing is tacking down. And now it should be secured. And then now the next thing is stretching the whole film downward. And we're gonna work our way from this side to the middle and then to the last outer piece here. Lift the film just a bit on the sides. Add your warm soapy water. That way it's more easier to stretch. And then tack it down. And then from there, most all of the fingers that you see that are coming up on the edge here, when you stretch, they're gonna remove. So just dry the area, that way you have better grip. And then stretch downward. And when you're stretching, make sure it's still aligned here and you don't overstretch and you tuck in the film inside as well. So just work your way. Make sure you're stretching and tacking down. So you want to tack down the outside first, that way it's all set. And you want to tack it down up to around this area because after we tacked everything down here, we're going to have to stretch the film just a bit so it can meet this edge here. Okay, once we stretched and tacked down the outside area, the next thing is stretching the film going that way. That way, once we stretch it, it's aligned to the edge of this part here. And make sure when you're, before you stretch, the film is tucked in. You don't want to accidentally crease it. Tuck it inside, and then from there, you're able to stretch. Tuck in and then stretch. Now this is all done. And now the last thing is just pulse heating around the area, that way everything stays sealed. So make sure you squeegee the outside, and then where the line is in the middle, and then the inside as well. So you wanna remove all the solution. And that's it, you're all done. So as you can see, this is how the tail light looks after the installation of the tint. So it does full coverage on both the front and on the sides of the tail light. But with that being said, if you guys do have any questions in regards to installation, feel free to message us or comment below and we'll be happy to help you guys out. Until then, I'll see you guys on the next video.